just took a wire brush, taped it around the old right handle, using this to clean in the corner here and clean the surface of the footing because I'm going to put waterproof sealant on this and all the way up the wall. I'm just trying to make sure that I stop moisture from going in the footing and up the wall and I'll stop any moisture that's in this wall from getting into the wall and going up it and going through into the house. And so this will be waterproofed all the way up. This plastic will flip over and part way up the wall. Then another piece of plastic from the top will come completely down and go this way, shedding moisture and water away from rain or whatever. So really trying to keep the inside of the house super, super dry. It should never, ever need a de dehumidifier the way this is being done. I could have power washed this, but it's February. I got rain coming, going, freezing weather. I only got so much time to get it done. So if I power wash it, like I wait for it to dry. As it is, I'm just trying to get this cleaned off and use the leaf blower to blow all this dust out of here and get a coating on it before rain, before freezing temperature comes in. Because this needs to be, the waterproofing needs to be somewhere around 60 degrees to be on, not to put on the wall. All right, got the second coat of the waterproofer on the exterior walls. And now we've trimmed the plastic that's under the footings. So I cut it through here so it's not way up the wall, I'll just cut it here on the short. So basically it just kind of lays on top. Use some rubberized sealant just to kind of hold it in place so it's not blown all over blown all over. Um, got the whole length of this wall done. That's just another way to stop the footing from absorbing any moisture out of the ground and then going in the wall and then through the wall into your house. So just really trying to work at making sure I don't have any moisture coming in the house. Today we got the six mil plastic on the back side of the walls. There's all these little bolts on the top that will be used to fasten the sill plate to the top of the wall. And I just use them to push the plastic over the top of them to hold it in place all the way down through here, down through there. So the six mil plastic's just another way to keep the moisture away from the wall. And on this corner here, I took a concrete block and rounded it off just so it wouldn't be sharp. No sense in putting the plastic up if it was only to be cut by a sharp edge because that plastic, that corner is sharp like a knife. It's just right to a point. So. Took about 30 seconds to round it off. It's just 30 seconds to make it right so it doesn't cut the plastic. This right here is the sharp edge I was talking about. Just take a concrete block, round it off. I only needed to do it on the two back corners of the house. So this is the corner I was talking about. You can see it's not sharp. It's just got a slight roundedness to it. It didn't take but 30 seconds just to take that edge off of it so it's not so sharp so it won't cut the concrete won't cut through the plastic and then let moisture behind it so it doesn't take but it, sometimes very little things can make a big difference and 30 seconds with a block takes no time at all and that's just gonna stop any from moisture dampness from getting behind it because it won't it won't tear it then down here just trying to want to make sure your plastic lips over like this so just kind of whatever moisture water come down and roll away and go into this trough here, which will be filled with stone and a drain pipe. 